Oh, hi there, and welcome back to Minecraft. In this video, we're going to talk about custom armor stands, how to customize them, and how to add them to your Java world. Okay, so I'd just like to make a few things absolutely clear before I get a bunch of angry people in my comment section. Now, this is for Minecraft Java Edition. If you're playing this on Xbox or PlayStation or Bedrock in any form, this probably won't work. So, yeah, this is for Java Edition. It will require you to have command blocks or use command blocks. So you'll need to be able to have um, OP rights on a server or you will need to have cheats enabled on your Minecraft Java world. And I do know that there are data packs that will do this, or some of it, but we are not doing that because I like to do it this way, just because you get a lot more flexibility. Let's begin. So the first thing you need to do is navigate over to this website here. Um, hopefully I can pronounce this right. Um, hazelkern.com forward slash Minecraft Armistand. Probably butchered that. Uh, don't worry, the link will be in the description of the video, so you can click that if you're too lazy to type it out like I am. Um, right, so this is it. You can see your armor stand here and lots of things you can do with it uh, there's well the first thing you want to do is if you've got a very if you're using a very old version of Minecraft Java you can adjust it in here and uh, pick whatever version you're using but I imagine we're all using 13 and above so let's just leave it there there's a whole bunch of things here um, I would suggest leaving things like invulnerable and marker alone until you get used to it because you don't and invisible for that matter but what you basically don't want to do is create armor stands that you can't destroy and um, I mean there are ways to get rid of them but it's a pain so I'd maybe mess around with taking the art putting the arms on taking gravity off things like that but you can, as long as you can see and destroy the armor stand, we can always come back and adjust it later on. So, yeah, you can click these boxes. So that will obviously click, make it invisible. You can't really see it being updated here, but trust me, it does work when you actually pop it onto your world. Uh, this one makes it invulnerable, so you cannot destroy it, which is a pain if you put it in the wrong place or something. So be careful. Uh, persistence required. I have no idea what that does. I've never used it. No base plate. That just removes the base plate, so you can see it um, and it just looks more like a person so that's quite good fun uh, we don't want it to be invisible uh, no gravity that will mean that if you place it higher up in the sky it does not fall down uh, normally armor stands are gravity dependent so if you remove the block below them they will fall down uh, this stops them happening so if you want to have something flying for example that's how you want to do it show arms self-explanatory it shows the arms small makes a baby uh, marker I would recommend leaving that one well alone because that's a bit like invulnerable. You cannot destroy it if you put it in the wrong place. Maybe if you want to go down that route, design it first, get it in your world, make sure you're happy with it, then come back, add the marker, and then do it that way. Um, center corrected, again, I've no idea, never used it. So those are the basic things up there. Um, we have then a whole bunch of stuff where you can actually adjust it. Let me just make this adult just so it's a bit bigger for you, but we'll, we'll make a small one later. So you can adjust the rotation. So this just pull this along here and it just spins me around now again if you're not sure maybe leave that one where it is and you can then if you put it in the world wrong you can adjust it in a moment i'll show you how to do that uh, so you can adjust everything so the head we can pop down or i mean he can go all exorcist on you um do that and we can spin it around which obviously if you put a head there it's going to start looking like there's actually stuff going on i mean yeah, whatever position you want so let's make him in a running position so let's go left arm let's go back a bit we want right arm let's go forward a bit uh, come all the way around there uh like that and then we'll do something with the legs so we want them the opposite way round really oh whoops a daisy so that's kind of a running position his head's a little bit on the the weird side <laughs> uh, let's get that back to normal because i don't want him like that perhaps we'll leave his head leaning a bit forward because that's how people look like when they run so that's how your man stands now we could put that in the world right now but it's a little bit boring uh, so we can do a whole bunch of other stuff we can enable equipment this is where he is really good so you want something in his hand so let's give him a diamond in his right hand so type diamond uh, oh, just the one. And then in the left hand, what should we put in there? How about... Um... Oh, my mind's gone blank. Dirt. Um, you do need to make sure that you get the text ID. Uh, so if it's got something like iron armor, you'd have to call it iron... Oh, underscore chestplate. Or whatever the... Um... 
ID is at the time of the version that you're using. Uh, so let's do that. So we don't want him to hold a chest plate. We want him to hold some dirt. Or nothing at all, to be honest, but dirt. Uh, boots, we can give him anything. So we can give him diamond gear. We can give him gold, iron, leather, chainmail. Uh, obviously, that puts diamond boots on him. Um, and then we can do the same with all the others. So let's give him some leggings. Let's go for leather, because when you get leather, you can add what ever colour you want. So let's go for a really nice... That's a nice colour. So let's do that and adjust it so you can see the colour there. Perfect. Chest plate, we can give him... I don't know, let's give him leather as well, but let's make that a darker leather. So, I don't know, can we get some sort of a, a brownish colour? I don't know, my colour wheels. Uh, brownish colour. That's almost brown, isn't it? That'll do. Uh, helmet. So... You can do things here. So again, you can go down the route of your standard. Well, you can put your turtle helmet on, your chainmail, your diamond, your golden. Well, you can see it. But you can be a bit more specific with that. So helmet specifies. Specifies. Item name. That's what we do at the moment. You have got player name. So we can just obviously pop down whatever we want. So I can just call it Sir Geeky Gamer, and that will then pop my head on there or whoever's name you want. Uh, that's that bit. You come down here, you can do custom names. So this is the name of the armor stand. Now, I've done these before where you show the name, which I think is great. So again, I think we'll just call it Sir Geeky Gamer. Uh, let's call it, just so we know it works, uh, 0070. Why not? Just so you know that this is definitely being done. Show custom name. That will make it appear above it. And then we can add a color to the name. So whatever color you want, just go absolutely crazy. I like gold, personally. Where's gold, 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 gold? Uh, there we go, and we can then change it to bold, italic, do what you want with it. You can also lock the interaction slots if you want to, so that no one else can come along and mess around with it. So you can say, no, we don't want anyone to remove place or anything on there, so that no one else can take the armor or the head or whatever else. Once you've done that, you simply copy this, so you can right-click if you want to, copy, or you just Control and V, Control and C, copy and paste, or control C, control V, or if you want a Mac, command C, command V. There we go. So that's that, and then you want to head back to your Minecraft world. Hopefully we're not going too quick. So once you're back into your world, all you need to do is grab a command block, and then we can uh, get this all working. If you don't know how to do that, uh, forward slash give, then you want to pop your name in, so in my case, Sir Geeky Gamer. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Uh, then just type in C O M, M, that'll be fine, or just one M. Uh, then tab, command block, there we go. We've got a command block in our hand and we've got a button to go with it. So let's say, for example, we want our new armor stand to go here. So we paste the command block, we can go inside it, we can paste the web the command that we've taken from the website so that's there it is absolutely huge there's no point trying to type that yourself because well i mean you're going to be there literally all day so yeah i mean you can see how long this so yeah definitely copy and paste it in otherwise i mean you're very if you you can type it but you're probably going to get it wrong uh that's enough of that i'm bored of that uh then you can see how big that command is there we go then we want to just shift put a button on there and then click the button so that does the job we can then get rid of all the stuff around it so as you can see we've got our game uh, it's got the name as we suggested get so key gamer 0070 it's got my head it's got the gold uh, sorry the diamond in the left hand the dirt block in the right it's got the customized armor the colors we want it the only problem is we wanted a child didn't we and we also wanted it facing this direction facing me now so let's go back and amend that command Okay, so we're now back in here and we need to make a few changes. So one of the things we said we want to do was make him small. So if we click the small one, that makes him a child. Everything else is going to stay the same. Uh, no base plate, show arms, etc. We also want to change the rotation. So to do that, I'm just going to get both screens up side by side. Now, if you see here, uh, we've got, uh, we're currently facing this direction. Uh, so best thing to do, in my opinion, is to line yourself up facing the direction that he is because it's, it's always the same. So I'm just going to click that just so we can get out of the way and I'll need to change the rotation here so I need to just basically this because I've got it small the image in the way so I need to do it up here out the way please please okay large screen we need to face him that direction anyway um, there we go so he's going round 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 he's now facing the direction we want him to face and while we're at it let's just change the name so it's 007 let's go 007 
one because why not we can then just minimize that a second if we then come back to here we can click in there copy that come back in here and let's place this guy just next door so let's pop him there uh, paste the command that's taken up the entire screen let's just get rid of that a second so you can see it and bosh there we go so we now have a small Sega so Gamer 0071 uh, facing in the direction we wanted with all the armor that we've pre-decided to do. And you can just adjust this any way you want. Obviously, all you have to do is just keep going in here and just tweaking whichever bits you want. Like I said before, if you want to do things like making it invulnerable and invisible, I recommend getting the rest of it right first and then you can go and make the invisible one. So then, you know, you know you're not going to lose him. But anyway, that's... Um, that's how you make the armor stand, and that's how you put them on your Java worlds. But, unfortunately, I think we have run out of time on this video. So, if you enjoyed this, you felt like you learned something, please give the video a big like and a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel. And, obviously, tell your friends about it too, because if you like it, there's a good chance they will too. But, as always, I've been Skeet Gamer. You've been awesome. And thanks for watching. Goodbye.